Girl, why he just tell my husband the dog be jumping out the window? So that's where it scratched up inside of my console. In there, I put forks and you put them prong side up because just in case they step, then they'll stab themselves and they'll stay away. This is mescaline. So we got mescaline coming in. Y'all, it is craziest thing just happened. I need to log out for lunch. It's story time real quick. How do I? So I'm sitting here working. It's Thursday and I'm working. My daughter had um, come home for break. Then she had to go back to work. And she called me and she said, mommy, there's a dog in the car. Did it not? Two o'clock. Okay. She said, there's a dog in the car. And I'm like, what? So I'm like, well, let me put a pin where I am and I gotta make sure I save my space so that I can know exactly where to restart. So I run outside, there's literally a dog in my car. Now it looked like my neighbor's dog, but I wasn't sure because, you know, we don't really like play with other people's dogs or whatever. So I'm out there trying to get the dog out the car. I open one door, the dog goes from the front of the car to the back of the car, the back of the car to the front of the car. Then it, she opens the back passenger side door. The dog runs around. I'm trying to hurry up and close the, pa the driver's side door. It jumps in the car again. Why is this dog so fast? So <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? So my husband comes outside because he thought we were joking when we said there was a dog in the car. He comes outside. He's whistling for the dog. I have now taken the vacuum cleaner. There's like the attachment. I'm like clicking it on the ground like, come here, come here. And my husband is whistling. The dog thinks we're playing. Ain't no games here. Dog finally runs, gets out of the car. My daughter closes the car door on the, the driver's side doors so they couldn't get back in. And it ran over to my husband. I closed the other two doors. She jumps in and pulls off. So I'm like, whose dog is this? Kind of thought again, maybe it's the neighbor's dog next door, but it had a chain around his neck. And I'm like, I don't recall him ever having a chain around the dog's neck. I don't know, but I don't pay attention to people stuff like that. So as I'm walking down the street with the vacuum cleaner attachment, tapping it on the ground, the dog thinks I'm playing. So I'm doing this and keep doing like tap, hold it up so the dog can keep walking with me. My other neighbor who lives three doors down on the other side of the street, he sees me. So I'm like, maybe this is his dog because we have another neighbor who actually trains dogs. And I, I couldn't foresee it being one of their dogs because they normally keep their stuff locked up tight. So as my other neighbor's going down, he calls the dog by name and the dog runs over. So I'm like, I don't remember him having a pit, but far be it from me, okay. So I come back upstairs. Oh, and by the way, my daughter had a blue, has this blue cup. Why was the dog drinking the water through the straw? It was like, put, somehow it was pulling water through the straw. The straw was going up and it was pulling water into the dog's mouth. So her cup is now downstairs. I took it out of the car. The inside of the car is scratched up from the dog's claws. And I'm gonna show my neighbor because your dog scratched up the inside of my car. Okay? So as I'm at back upstairs working, you know, my husband comes upstairs and he's like, hey yo, you ain't gonna believe this. So I'm like, what? So the neighbor is talking to my husband at this point. They're out in the outside now talking, and he was like, This ain't the first time that dog got out. He said, This is like the third time. So the first time another neighbor saw the dog and had to bring it all back and it happens to be the immediate neighbor to my to my left with me right now the second time he saw the dog he brought the dog home and then the third time it was with me but he took the dog because he knows the dog's name girl why he just tell my husband the dog be jumping out the window i'm like what so on the other side of their house they have a window that they I guess they leave it cracks or whatever so the dog, you know, fresh air come in the house or whatever. And they have two dogs. He told my husband, the dog be jumping out the window of the house to get free and run around the streets. How you got a runaway dog? And I'm like, well, where's the other dog? I guess the other dog is like, I'm not playing these games with you. You can go do that. I'm going to sit here and chill in this comfortable house. That is absolutely crazy to me. So now we gotta clean the inside of my car. 
it's 204 and why do I feel like I need a scotch on the rocks right now? I need one rock and about two fingers of scotch. That's what I need in my life right now. Happy Thursday, by the way. All right, y'all. We about to look at the inside of this car so I can show y'all where it scratched up the inside. Child, it's... I mean, it's just the console, but it's the fact that it wasn't scratched up and it, it wasn't my animal that did it. So that's where it scratched up the inside of my console. I don't know how this sun is working, if it's in y'all's face or not, but we're gonna go to, what is this lady doing? We're gonna go to um, Dollar Tree and CVS. Those are the two errands that I need to run. And I might get something to eat while I'm out. in the freezer some um girl I had made red beans it was in the winter of last year it was probably like January February and I froze them froze a bunch in like two different containers because at the time Alyssa wasn't home and I was the only one eating it because he he'll eat it one or two times and then he's done and so I froze it because I didn't want to throw it out and it was perfectly good so I found that when I was going through the freezer and I <gasps> Ooh! so I thought that and I ate that for lunch and it was so good uh, I have just a little bit left so I'm thinking that that's not gonna be enough for me to eat for dinner um, so I'm thinking about getting something while I'm out but I don't know what I actually want I really want some sushi. I haven't had sushi in a minute. So I think I want that. I don't know, it depends on if I feel like going to the store, girl. I am tired. Like this time of year, there's three times a year that I'm, I feel like this. Um, No, four. <laughs> January, April, October, and January, April, July, and October because it's quarterly reporting and when I tell you it drains all of my energy it drains all of my energy so I'm tired um, a lot of times it's early mornings and late evenings so I really should have stayed on working a little bit longer but I just log in early tomorrow and get some more stuff done Instead of staying on late today. I just ain't feel like it. Yeah, so I'm probably not going to keep talking because the phone just fell down. And this is not a good spot to have my phone. Because my phone is heavy. And I don't know. Oh, it's the case on my phone that's making it heavy. I had to turn around because I think I just got a flat. So I'm going to go back home. And we ain't going to CVS, nor are we going to Dollar Tree going home until he can look at this car okay so that was a quick ride and it's not a flat i think it's the um it's the rotors because when i pulled in i could hear them grinding so yeah either way can't drive that mm -mm. i need to get um some rotors put on her car Oh, Lord, 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 if it ain't one thing, it's another. Yeah, so we're gonna have to, well, not we, my husband's gonna have to put the car up on um, the um, the blocks. What are them things called that you put the car up on? You know, them things. <laughs> You're gonna have to jack the car up and um, see about whether it's the, it's gotta be the rotors, cause I don't think they've been changed on that car between him and my dad they'll figure it out and they'll get it fixed but as for now you and i we just gonna be chilling i know what we could go down and look at the garden too because i do need to check that out and see um you know check on what we planted on sunday so we do need to check that out let's go out and see what's going on in the garden child my neighbor still ain't back so my other neighbor still got 
the wayward dog. I did not just try to put my yard shoes on with my slippers. I need a nap, clearly. Clearly I need a nap. All right, let's see what's in the garden. All right, so no action here yet. Um, The collars are still looking loose. Nothing is really, this one was eaten already. That one, that leaf. So that there's no change there. No changes. And that's coffee grounds that I dropped out here. Uh, nothing over here. Nope, no changes. Let's go down here. Oh, look, we do have some um, lettuce growing in here. And some dill coming in. Some more lettuce right there. And a lot of dill coming in right there. And anything. Oh, look, y'all. This is mescaline. So we got mescaline coming in. And we planted that Sunday. We don't have anything over here yet, though. But something was in here digging. Because look at that. That hole. Something was digging in here. I see lettuce. Oh, y'all see that little piece of lettuce? This is romaine. Look at that piece of lettuce. Because that's a lettuce seed right there. I'm just going to push it right down in there. And let's see. Anything over here? Nope. Nothing popping up. Anything popping up in here yet? Nothing's popping up, but we have more strawberry flowers that have bloomed. We even got a white one. We got a white one. We now have three pink strawberry flowers. Let's check on the bro um, broccoli and kale. All right, the broccoli. Kale. I need to pull this back over. Something been over here trying to fool with stuff. So I need to fix that. I don't know what this is. If it's a weed or what. I need to pull it out though. But look at this. Look at this green onion. Look at that. So I'm just going to take that off. And what I'm going to do with this is break it into pieces and put it all around my pots because the um, squirrels and stuff don't like the smell of the onion. So I'm just gonna put that in there and nothing to put right there, but I am gonna take it over here to where, and I always like to do like this, to wake up the juices in the onion so they really can't smell it. I mean, so they, they really can smell it. And leave my stuff alone. I knew it, something was digging in my pot because look, y'all look at my potato. I need to cover this up because something took my potato out. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Something took my potato out. And now I don't even know if I want that now. Which I don't. So I'm going to throw this over the fence. Since you want to dig in my stuff, you can have it for life. It flew over the fence. So now I need to get some net. I'm gonna cover that up right now. We have some baby um, radish seeds popping up right there. And I saw another one right over there. I wanna show y'all how resilient green onions are. Look, these were cut down earlier, all the way to the ground. Look, that one popped back up, this one popped back up, and so did that one. Oh, and there's some down there. So those green onions, they'll pop back up. So you'll always have green onions anytime you plant them. All right, if you see back there, you'll see all through here, I dropped pieces of garlic because that's another trick that I found out that works in the garden to keep a lot of different animals away. So I dropped garlic and onions all through here. Then I didn't do anything there because they hadn't been doing anything, but I did drop some um, garlic skins all through here and I covered this up. So, oops, sorry. So you can see that there is a small opening, but I left the prongs out. I have garlic on my fingers. And in there, I put forks. And you put them prong side up because just in case they step, then they'll stab themselves and they'll stay away. So I have forks all in here. I have like six forks in here. And I dropped whole pieces of garlic all throughout to keep the 
um, squirrels and stuff away and I put some on the outside too. It's always something going on where you have to treat for in your garden. But um, that's all we got going on today. And um, hopefully tomorrow will be a little more exciting. <laughs> And I think I'm going to bid y'all adieu because I just got bit on my ankle. These mosquitoes out here are wild. Like, there's nothing that works for them. 